hey what's up welcome back to my channel hope you guys all doing great in this video i'm going to show you that how we can use layout inside adobe illustrator so when you freshly install adobe illustrator inside your operating system so this uh, layout is going to open for you by default but if i want to change that from the upper menu you can see we have this essential automation we have many more layout available so let me click on the automation so if you click automation everything is going to be automa automation so from in here you can see we have these actions so let me show you how this works so i'm going to make a rectangle over here so here i can actually scroll so this is all actions this is kind of uh, uh, ready-made template so here you can see this uh, rotate so if i double click here so this is going to open me the rotate uh, little window too so i can rotate my shape from here so all these actions is uh, really a, a ready template so if i select uh, one of my shapes so from here i can double click like opposite if i want to make this uh, opposite of this shape to 60 percent so i'm double click you can see this is going to uh, take effect 60 percent opacity is going to uh, actually work on this rectangle so also the, we have many more available actions over here so you can use it as a ready made template so you can double click without using any of these tools available here also we are going to get this switches color guide and this uh, brushes and also this gradients you're going to get with this automation layout so here we have this essential classic so if you click on the essential classic you can you are going to get this uh, color this uh, color guide the switches uh, brushes this great this uh, stroke this uh, gradient and also you can see we have the x and y position value for the our shape so from here i can change the white and high as well and appearance you can fill it with a different color you can add a stroke and you can uh, insert the opacity from here and also for the quick actions you can get this offset path expand shape orange align pixel grid recolor but i don't want to actually use this in this video because this video is only dedicated to the layout of the adobe illustrator so i just wanted to show you that this a layout is uh, going to show up with the adobe illustrator when you're going to select one of these layout so here we have this layout as well so if i click on the layout let me show you this layout going to allow me that i can pick a color from here also you're going to get this color guide also for the transform you're going to get this x and y value and also y and high you can see we have this rectangle properties from here as well i can actually rotate this or i can actually corner reduce from here so let me reduce the corner so this is going to actually take effect so if i want to add 300 so you can see this is going to take effect for this layout you you are going to get this much so from here you can see this characters for the layout is going to be available like paragraph you can change the um, i'm going to dedicate or record another video for this characters how we can actually um, uh, use text with adobe illustrator so from here i actually click on the paragraph you can change paragraph for your text not for the shape it's all for the text so from here also you're going to get the character style as well okay let me click on the painting so if i click on the painting this is kind of a painter interface this could be because if you are a painter or something so this interface could uh, actually help you a lot because you're going to get uh, this color guide over here this uh, symbols this brushes you can use this brushes uh, with this layout and also you can see we have this um, navigator and also we are going to get this appearance if you click you can see and also you can see this graphic style you're going to see this graphic style if you want to apply to uh, here apply to this shape and also you can see this gradient and also you're going to get transparency and also a line is going to be available here for the printing and poofing if i click here this is going to actually give me this uh, look like i can use this align i can use this transform for my shape 
and maybe watch our one of our tutorials about the transform and I will also going to make a video on the align as well so here I can click on the layer so I can actually add more layer so for this uh, pre uh, printing and poofing you're going to get this much like these characters and this color available so let me click on the tracing so if I click on the tracing layout so you can see that this is going to actually allow me these actions image tracer image tracer let me tell you about the image tracer image tracer is something that you want to actually uh, make a copy of a vector from external resource that you want to make a vector inside um, Adobe Illustrator so image trace is going to work for you so I don't want to actually dig into that topic for now I just wanted to show the stressing is going to be um, give you the ability of using the image trace as well so here let me click on the typography the typography is actually give you all these characters for your text so this is going to show up all the text options and feature which you can click to change your text you can actually uh, select a different font so this is all for typography stuff if you are a designer of typography so uh, you can use uh, this but I will show you that in some of our videos that you can use this typography to actually make a lot of cool designs with uh, this layout so here let me click on the web so if I click on the web, the web is actually going to give you a lot of this CSS properties. Let me tell you about CSS. Maybe you are familiar with this name or not. CSS means cascading, cascading style sheet. It's used for uh, those that they are web developers. They want to develop. They are working um, as a HTML developer, and this CSS is going to help uh, HTML developers to style their HTML code. So from here you can see this variables going to be available, this action and also this characters. It means that this layout is this web is going to help you in making landing page um, and the click button or you can um, design many more things with uh, this layout. So this is only dedicated for those who are designing um, uh, layouts uh, for the web developers so maybe you're going to design a header or footer or maybe you're going to design a button uh, so this uh, layout is going to help you a lot and also let me click on the touch so if I click on the touch you can see this interface is going to show up here that it's uh, really made for the touch so for those that they are using a touch screen uh, laptop uh, so um, this is uh, going to help you a lot because this interfaces for the touch you can see this uh, big um, buttons over here with this toolbar you can actually uh, using the touch using your fingers to touch on that uh, tools to uh, start designing with Adobe Illustrator you can see this uh, magnifier zoom in zoom out is going to be show up here so this is only for the touch so what if i want to make my own workspace so if i'm going to click on the uh, printing and poofing so if i want to create a workspace for the printing so whatever layout you select from here uh, so here you can click on the new workbook so i'm going to name it as a bino so i'm going to click ok so here if I change to one of these like uh, this layout so whenever I want to actually use Bina so from here it's going to be less so I can click on the Bina so the same layout that I'm already selected and created the workspace with uh, that so it's going to create the same working area or workspace and is going to show me if I going to save a, a painting I'm going to create a workspace for the painting uh, when I click on the listed so it's going to change to that painting so from here I can actually click on the manage workspace I can select I can create many more so from here I can add one more Bino copy or I can actually delete one so if you made a copy from this one so it means you're going to select that uh, layout that's already selected with the uh, with uh, the same workspace that you created with uh, this in Adobe Illustrator. So also let me explain 
one more option which is available when you see this um, toolbar on the end of this toolbar you can see this on the end of this tools you can see this uh, change screen mode so if i click here we have two more option one is one uh, three option normal screen mode full screen and full screen mode so if i click full screen with menu bar so it's going to full screen this is for those that want to actually um, yeah, recording for youtube like me or if you want to actually use this for um other classes so a uh, class of design so maybe you're going to record the screen so this this really work for you because this is going to hide the taskbar from your windows so if i click here so full screen mode if i click here you can see only i can see my artboard so if i want to actually design something here so i need to move my cursor over to the left so this uh, toolbar is going to be available so i can actually select um, anything from this toolbar to start designing over here but if you move your cursor over the top and over the left so here over the left is going to show up the uh, colors the layout of um, your um, uh, screen or adobe illustrator from here i can select the colors but if i if i move to the down on the taskbar so i can't see anything nothing is going to pop up here so let me go here and let me click on the full screen and click on the normal screen mode so from here i can actually um, uh, take back my full screen mode to normal so most of the people actually using this normal mode so hope you enjoy this tutorial and you learn something from this tutorial and if you uh, if you find this tutorial really helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon on the subscribe button as well so you're going to be notified about our future video or uploads and also if you have any question and if you didn't understand this tutorial please let me know in the comment box of this video so i can answer each question of yours so you can learn uh, the graphic designer with adobe illustrator better and better so see you guys until next video